All right, so this is part two of the little tinnitus uh, tutorial thing that I'm talking about here. That you know, just some things that'll that'll help you out. Uh, somebody actually emailed me and told and suggested that I try a neti pot. And what a neti pot is, it's uh, you can buy these little like kits. It's not that much. I think only like ten bucks or something. And you get this little. Um, it looks like a teapot kind of and some kind of like solution you put in there and you mix it with water and I, I don't remember the specifics of how you do it but you can actually look it up on YouTube where um, like how you do it and, and the process of it st and stuff but what you do is you put the neti pot on one side of your nostril and then like you tip your head and then you pour this water in, in your nostril and what it does is it goes up in one end and comes out the other and it actually cleans out all the the gunk and shit in your nose and that's supposed to kind of help out your hearing and the ringing and stuff so like I said in the in part one um with the gunk in your ears and stuff uh you know it might just be a blockage of gunk in your ear or the tube that goes from your ear to your nose so a neti pot could work you know I I really don't think that it, it it it'll it'll make the ringing go away but like I said these are just things that I learned that you could try and hopefully maybe maybe they work nasal spray it's good for temporary relief like I said in the first video um I was using nasal spray and every time I used it it would give me it would stop the ringing and congestion for about 10 minutes and then it would come back so if you go to a doctor a lot and and you can keep getting nasal spray keep getting it and keep trying it but you know, for me, I had used it so much that it was just like, I might as well not even use it at all. So, it's good for temporary relief, I guess. Um, the whole the whole thing with how, with how this started with me was I didn't have the ringing in my ear at first. At first, uh, my left ear was just crackling and hurting. This part, I'm just kind of explaining what's going on with my situation. Because everybody's everybody's ear situation is a little bit different. Um, some people just hear ringing, some people just hear crackling. And But for me, what it was is when people were talking to me, I noticed that like the frequencies in their voice, uh, mainly like when people laugh or just talk really loud, it was really making my, my left ear was starting to hurt like really, really bad. Um, and I thought it was just like an ear infection or something, but you know, four months later it was still happening. And I'm a person that's like really secluded. I'm never around people. Like sometimes I'll go a month or two without really being around people at all because I just don't feel comfortable around people. I have anxiety and stuff. So I didn't really notice I had this problem with the ear ringing until uh, I actually was doing like more shows and going around people and stuff. And it was just like, man, this shit is not going away. Um, but like I said, like, Mine first started with the the crackling in my ears. My left ear was crackling, and every time I laid down, what was happening was it was a pulsating. Um, the best way I could describe it is like when you're hooking up like speakers or something, and you hook up the speaker wrong. Sometimes a speaker will like pulsate in and out, like it'll just like uh, I don't know, or even like when you just look at a, a speaker, like a woofer or something, you see the speaker going in and out that's what my eardrum was doing so um every time I would lay down it would do that and then like whatever side I laid on when I was sleeping that's the slide side that would be all congested and, and stuff like that it was really horrible and it still does that so if I lay on my right side it feels like an ocean coming from the left side over to my right ear and then I can feel it pulsate and stuff and actually as I'm sleeping I have to actually get up and shift to the other side because of all the pressure build up. It feels like my head's just gonna explode. And it's just a really awful, miserable thing. So every time I switch sides it just felt like an ocean. Like you kinda hear like blood flow or something. But that's how it first started. And then the my ears being off balance for that, my my right ear started ringing about seven months into it um so then for the rest of the first year i had to deal with the ringing and the uh the whooshing noise swishing noise and the the pulsating and crackling and stuff and then got to a point where i couldn't use phones at all and um 
especially speaker phones when people are sometimes I could use a regular phone but when people are on speaker phones that is the worst or when people are on headsets because it's a when they're doing that um, sound is going at a different frequency it's going at a different pitch and stuff and your ears can you know they perceive this and it's it's those certain frequencies and stuff that really really can agitate your ear and people don't understand that and they're probably never going to understand that you're only going to understand that because you're the one going through the problem so like i said that's just one of those things that you know people ain't going to understand it and you're just going to have to say deal with it and tell them to fuck off because that's just how it is um so in the in the second year i mainly had to deal with just the ringing in the in the ear but Closer to winter, um, at the end of the second year and the beginning of the third year, which is now, is now the crackling is coming back in the left ear and a lot of the congestion and stuff. So I found um, actually like opening a window helps a lot. Even when it's really cold out, if you open up a window, uh, even though it's cold outside, which the cold is bad for it, uh, the fresh air actually helps the ears. I don't know why. That's just for me. I don't know if it'll help for you or not. Um, Oh, another thing <clears throat> you can try is uh, there's fluids and pills that you can buy for ringing and you can get this just from Walgreens or I actually seen an ad on TV for uh, like these um, pills that you could buy that it's just the same thing they're just more expensive or whatever but um, it, it's easy to find you just go on Walgreens it's like a little little bottle it's probably like that big or something like that it says ear ringing on it or for tinnitus and stuff what it is it's just a liquid or a pill and uh what is it it's supplements that's all it is it's like certain oils and vitamins and shit in there what it is is you're supposed to take it or or just like rub it on your ear or whatever and it's supposed to soothe the ringing it's not gonna stop it it's just supposed to soothe it and uh these are just natural things that your ear is supposed to have in the first place that'll uh, I guess there's really no other way to explain it except soothe it it's just supposed to soothe it that's all it's just natural things your ear should have but ear, your ear doesn't have um, that you can try and honestly for me it, it didn't really work it kind of worked like a little bit uh, it kind of did soothe it but I mean it just it really doesn't get rid of it so uh, that, that's pretty much it actually I don't really have anything else here but uh, like I said if this video helped you at all give it a like um, maybe uh, you can you can show it to your family so they can understand your problem a little bit more uh, just a like a quick overcap of everything I talked about uh, TMJ can cause it a pop or soda um, pain pills, um, the weather shifting can cause it, a bad earache can cause it, uh, the clogged tube in your ear can cause it, um, temperature changing, these are all different things that could cause it. You can try a neti pot, uh, to cure it. Um, oh, also this is another thing that, um, I missed. There's a nerve actually in the back of your throat. This is the last thing I'm going to talk about. There's a nerve in the back of your throat. Uh, that goes like from your throat to your nose or something like that and it's not too often but that nerve can become damaged and that could also cause the ringing in your ear <clears throat> so uh, if you go to an ENT they can uh, they could check to see if that's it I'm sorry I'm losing my voice here that's why it's getting all raspy and stuff um, but yeah you go to an ENT and a good actually a good ENT will check for that so you know if they Actually, don't don't even bring it up at first and see if if they'll actually uh, try to do it because if they don't, then they're probably a bad doctor that don't know what the fuck they're doing. And if they do suggest to do it, then then you know you got a doctor who knows what they're talking about. But the process of this is they stick this little like um, it's a tube that has like a a camera on it. It's like a microscopic uh, camera. They stick the tube up your nose and it goes down your throat a little bit, and then they could look at this nerve. Um, me, I hate having shit like that done. I hate, I hate needles. I hate doctors. I hate everything related to that. I'm the type of person that goes in there and kind of gets like fucking sick because, uh, I hate doctors so much. Like I spent the first three years of my life in a hospital cause I had so many, so many problems and I, as a kid and I was being 
stuck with all sorts of needles and shit, so that's always stuck with me. As soon as I go to a doctor, I get fucking sick. I fucking hate it. Also, my grandpa died in the hospital from... They gave him, like... I know this is getting off topic, but, I mean... Maybe some of you can relate to this that fucking hate doctors. You, But you'll see where I'm going with this. Um, anyways, my, my grandpa died in the hospital. They gave him this... Uh, that test where they shoot dye in your veins and he was allergic to him to it and he told them that he was allergic to it and they gave it to him anyways and his fucking heart exploded and he died and my mom had to watch his fucking blood shot out of his mouth and he fucking died right in front of him and uh you know we sued the fucking hospital they admitted they were wrong and we still fucking lost the case i don't know how but it's just fucking retarded so anyways i fucking hate doctors and what I'm trying to say is, uh, I had this test done and it's not that fucking bad. It seems really bad because they're sticking a fucking camera up your nose. Um, but I'm trying to like, uh, the reason I'm explaining this to you is to kind of like soothe you that, uh, so you don't get fucking anxiety. But it's not that bad of a test. They numb up your nose, they spray the stuff in there, and then they put the camera in there. And you could, you can't really even feel the camera at all. So, um... Don't get scared to get it done. You should get it done to see if that's the problem. Um, it only takes like a few minutes. And then they know right away if, if that's a problem or not. So that's the last thing I can think of that, uh, that'll help you out. Um, I can't think of anything else. If if you have any questions or anything like that, um, I'm pretty good at, at replying to this type of stuff. So, uh, you know, just... Uh, put a question underneath the video and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. I'm usually pretty really detailed in my answers so I'll give a really long uh, specific detailed answer when I can. You know a lot of people hate fucking reading and they won't read through all that shit but uh, I'm just trying to help people out so hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Uh, like I said if you like the video click like on it or whatever and if there's anything else you need to know just holler at me and I'll try to help you out. Because this shit sucks. It fucking sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Every day I wake up, my fucking ear is ringing all damn day. People don't understand it. It sucks. I can't stress <laughs> how much this shit sucks. Alright, peace.